Yes, I'm back. And right now I'm talking about the month of April and why melanoid people, especially of African descent, globally need to be on alert. You definitely need to have your Second Amendment popping, talking to those here in America. And you definitely need to be on alert and have some sort of protection because the white supremacist government already proven to us for decades and generations that they're never going to step in and protect us from these white supremacist terrorists and their extremist terrorist groups. But I'll leave an uh, article in the description. I'm going to just read to you guys. Uh, it says, yeah, there's no video on this either, so if you're upset about that, it is what it is. But it says, the month of April has become somewhat of a holy month for these people who practice the religion of white supremacy. For years, several symbolic incidents of mass violence has occurred in the U.S. during this month of April. And many of those incidents are carried out by admitted white extremists. Some speculate the reason for this is because there are two significant dates of the month April. One is, Pat is Patriots Day of April 19. Many white supremacists like to disguise their racist ideology by holding behind the term Patriot which is very true. Many people speculate that the Boston Marathon bombing in April 2013 was an act of commemorate the first Patriots Day battle that took place in Boston in 1775. The second reason is, excuse me, the second reason it is suspected that many white supremacists hold the month of April sacred is because April 20th, which many black people be on some goofy shit, and white people who think that's just 420 National Weed Day. But it was really Adolf Hitler's birthday. The two white supremacist terrorist teens who committed the Columbine High School massacre on April 20th, 1999, chose that date in celebration of Hitler's birthday. Another reason why April is a celebratory month for white supremacists is because of freedom, Fighter Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated by a white supremacists on April 4th, 1968. And those coon-ass Negroes who were around him, they were in on it too, so motherfuck them. Other notable acts of violence in the month of April is 20, 2007 Virginia Tech Massacre. I was just thinking about this when I woke up today. Where the gunmen claimed to sympathize the Columbine shooters. One of the most Infamous acts of domestic terrorism from a suspected white supremacist in Oklahoma City bombing committed by Timothy McVeigh on April 9th, 1995. Now, real quick. Timothy McVeigh, I've been telling y'all about him for months. White, black people, we definitely need to purchase this book. The Turner's Diary. That's who Timothy McVeigh was. He, Him and his white supremacist terrorists wrote this book. And... A lot of their attacks happened on American soil in April to harm black people. Continuing, it says, um, hold on. it says, just last year in 2014, because this article is from 2015. So it says, in 2014 alone, there were several acts of domestic terrorism and violent incidents by confirmed and suspected white extremists and other people who sympathize with white extremists. On April 2nd, 2014, there was a mass shooting in Fort Hood Military Facility in Keeneland, Texas. On April 5th, 2014, white supremacist Cliven Bundy and his supporters had armed standoff with the U.S. government at its ranch in, in uh, Nevada. Y'all remember that? I remember that Clyde and Bundy. Clive and Bundy and his fucking clan alt-right motherfuckers had a standoff. No shots are fired, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think when they apprehended him, he had that book I just showed y'all, uh, the Turner's Diary, on him at the time. But continuing, on April 9th, 2014, at Franklin Regional High School in Marysville, Pennsylvania. I've been telling y'all about Pennsylvania. I live here. This shit racist as hell. Alex Herbro stabbed 20 students it was reported that his Hebrew worshipped the Columbine colors. On April 13, 2014, a pair of shootings occurred at a Jewish community center, they can hold their own nuts, of Greater Kansas City by a white supremacist 
and neo-Nazi Frazier Glenn Miller Jr. On April 29, 2014, Getty Kramer wounded six people in FedEx facility in Kinsaw, Georgia. So, Melanoid people should be very alert and take extra precaution whenever the month of April comes around. And I think Dylan Roos, I think he killed them black folk in the church on April. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that shit happened in April. And I'm pretty sure that Colorado shooter, I think that shit happened in April. So we need, I told y'all, April, that's their month. Don't be surprised if there's a bombing or a mass shooting in April. So, Illinois people, you need to protect yourselves. Get off that. We just gonna pray on it. Not all white people is bad. Get off that fuckery. You need to protect yourself. By any means necessary. Let me know what y'all think about April. And have y'all noticed any strange activity from white suspected white supremacists and white supremacist devils? We just had an incident. What was that yesterday or two days ago? The brother got stabbed, the elderly brother got stabbed by that white supremacist cave monkey recessive gene devil in New York. He traveled from Maryland to New York just to kill a black person because he, that's another thing y'all need to be on alert. These military whites, suspected white supremacists and these military white supremacists, a lot of them get out the military, join these different white extremist groups and train them. Give them the training they received in the military, and then they start attacking black people. Because the person who did that to that brother in New York, he was an ex-military person. But he's a fucking coward because he attacked someone else. He didn't go to the hood in New York and try to start nothing with those those Negroes. He attacked the elderly brother, stabbed him in the back and in the chest. A fucking twenty-two inch sword. So I hope his soul gets taken in the showers of prison. Probably not, because they'll get protected by those white supremacist Aryans that run these prisons. Who at and since we talking since speaking of that, remember I did the video on the um, the white supremacist suspected white supremacist uh, Hispanic uh, prosecutor who didn't prosecute those guards for uh, boiling that brother alive in jail. I might have spoke on this in a previous video. A lot of these white Hispanics, so much for that black and brown, we in this together, that bullshit. A lot of these white supremacist Hispanics go to prison and link up with those white supremacist Aryans. And they harm black people in prison. I've seen many and heard many stories of black people getting lynched in prison and they blaming it on... A suicide. Cough, cough, Sandra Bland. But again, let me know what y'all think about this. Get in the comments. Like, subscribe, share the video. I love y'all.